Hello everyone, I am Shikaina Aquino Maranga from the SN1 11A. And for today's video, I am going to perform assessment of the cranial nerves return demonstration. Cranial nerves examination provides information regarding the transmission of sensory and motor messages primarily to the head and neck. So before I enter my patient's room, first I have checked for the doctor's order. I have performed hand hygiene and of course prepared the necessary equipments that I'm going to use which includes a pen light, a tongue depressor, a percussion hammer, a tuning fork, cotton balls, a cotton swab stick, um, a coffee and soap to test for patient's olfactory nerve and some handheld cards to test for patient's optic nerve. Now we are going to proceed to the assessment of the 12 cranial nerves. Okay, so first we are going to assess for cranial nerve number one, which is the olfactory nerve. Okay, so first ask the patient to clear out his nose to remove any mucus. Sir, can you please clear out your nose? Okay, here. Thank you. And then, um, Ask the patient to close his eyes, occlude one nostril, and ask the patient to identify the object um, that, uh, that I'm going to let him smell. Okay, so sir, um, we are going to test for your um, sense of smell. I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to cover one of your nostrils, and please identify this object or this scent. Coffee. Okay, great. So... Please remain your eyes closed. I am going to use another object for the um, other nostril. So? Okay, great. You can open your eyes now. So, next would be assessing for patients cranial nerve number two, which is the optic nerve. So first, we are going to assess for patients visual acuity. Visual acuity is the degree of detail that the eye can discern in an image. So for this test, we are going to use a handheld card and ask the patient to read what is written in the handheld card. Okay, sir, do you use eyeglasses or um, contact lenses? No. I want you to read these numbers for me, please. 1, 2, 8, 7, 3, 6, 5, 8, 2. Okay, great. Now, we are going to um, assess for patient's um, vision field, visual field. Okay, visual field is the total area in which an object can be seen in the peripheral vision with the eyes focused at a central point. Okay, sir, so I want you to look, look at me straight in the eye. Okay. So I, I'm going to place my fingers here. Tell me whenever you see them entering your visual field. Okay? Okay. 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 Now um, we're going to assess for cranial nerves number three, four, and six. This um, oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens. These three um, are all motor um, nerves. So, um, oculomotor is uh, responsible for eye movement, upper eyelids, and the constriction of pupils. Now, trochlear is responsible for the movement of superior oblique muscle, and the abducens is responsible for the movement of the lateral rectus muscle. Okay, so to assess for these... Um, Ask the patient to look directly at the eye. Sir, I want you to look at my eye. Okay, so I am inspecting the upper eyelids. Upper eyelids should not obscure vision. Okay, um, observing for pupils. Pupils should be round and equal in size. Now, assess for pupillary reaction. Okay, observe for... Um, Observe for the direct and consensual response. Okay, sir. So I'm going to shine a light on your eyes. Okay, just look straight into my eyes. Uh, 
Okay, great. So next, I am going to hold, hold out my finger like this. I want you to look at the at my finger and then to that uh, spot on the wall, please. Okay? Look at my finger first. And then the spot on the wall, please. Finger and the wall. Great. Now, we are going to perform the um, cardinal fields of gaze test which is a test done to evaluate the six extraocular um, muscles and cranial nerves three four and six so okay sir so i want you to follow my finger using your eyes only do not move your neck just your eyes okay okay Okay. Pupils are equally round, um, reactive to light and accommodation. So next, uh, we are going to be assessing for cranial nerve number five, which is the trigeminal nerve. Um, trigeminal nerve is both a sensory and motor nerve, which innervates all the muscles of mastication and mediates um, facial sensation. Um, facial sensation and the sensory par part of the corneal reflex okay so the mandibular maxillary and ophthalmic divisions should be tested symmetrically um, first for pain okay sir so um, we're we are now on the assessment of your cranial nerve number five I'm, um, I'm going to um, assess for pain okay so I'm going to use a um, broken cotton swab stick to uh, poke you I want you to determine or tell me whenever you feel the sharp end or the dull end of the stick okay, okay. please close your eyes sharp dull dull sharp Okay. So, um, I am going to compare both sides. So, I want you to tell me if the feeling is the same or not. Okay? Please close your eyes. Is this the same with this? Yes. Is this the same with this? Yes. Okay. Now, um, for light touch sensation i am going to use a cotton i want you to close your eyes and say um now whenever you feel the cotton touching your skin okay, okay. No. 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 okay so now i'm going to compare both sides i want you to tell me if the feeling is the same or not okay, okay so is this the same with this? Yes. Is this the same with this? No. Okay. Now, um, moving on, we are going to test for your corneal reflex. I want you to look up and to that side. No? With your eyes only, do not move your Look up and to that side, please. Now, approach the patient on his side, away from his line of vision and then lightly touch the uh, cornea okay now i want you to look up and that to that side please all right so a normal uh, patient would blink and tear in this corneal reflex test Okay, so moving on, um, we are going to assess for cranial nerve number 7, which is the facial nerve. Facial nerve is both a sensory and motor nerve responsible, or which innervates all the um, muscles of facial movement and expression. Also mediates um, taste sensation in the, um, in the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. Okay, sir, so I need you now to do, um, to perform some facial expressions, okay? Can you please smile? I want you to frown. 
Now, show your teeth. Okay, now, puff your cheeks. Okay, relax your face. Purse your lips. Alright, now, I want you to close your eyes tightly that I can open it, okay? Okay. So, normally, a person can do this maneuvers um, easily. Okay, next would be to assess for patient's cranial nerve number 8, which is the um, acoustic or vestibulocochlear nerve. This is a sensory nerve which mediates hearing and balance. So first, we're going to perform the whisper test. Okay, so sir, we're going to assess now your hearing. Uh, we're going to perform whisper test. Um, I want you to close your eyes. I am going to cover one of your ears and whisper something on the other side. I want you to repeat it loud, okay? Okay. Okay, so in doing this test, um, be sure to co conceal your mouth to avoid um, lip reading. Okay, and whisper words such as 99 or baseball. Okay. 99. Okay, now, your other ear. Baseball. Okay, great. Now, we are going to perform the Weber's test. Okay, using a tuning fork. We are going to place it in the patient's um, head. Okay, do you hear that sound? Okay. Um, is it louder in one ear or just the same? The same. Great. Now, um, we are going to perform the um, Renee's test to assess for air and bone conduction. So, place the vibrating tuning fork in the patient's um, mastoid process behind the ear. Okay, do you hear that sound? Okay. Um, tell me when it stops. Okay. Right, do you hear it now? Okay. Tell me when it stops, please. Okay. Okay, so um, normally a patient could um, hear the sound longer in air than in the bone. Next, we are going to assess for um, cranial nerve number 9 and 10, which is the glossopharyngeal and the vagus nerve, both um, is responsible for the motor and sensory uh, part of the uh, palate, pharynx, and larynx, okay? So, sir, I'm going to assess uh, the insides of your mouth. Okay. Uh, I want you to say, ah. Uh, okay, assess the sound of, of the patient's voice. Is it or does it have a nasal quality? Assess the palate, the soft palate, and the uvula. Okay? You can close your mouth for now, please. So, um, the soft, you, see, you should see the soft palate rise promptly and symmetrically, while the uvula should be uh, midline, should be in the midline. Now, um, we are going to test for the patient's gag reflex. Okay, so we are going to test for your gag reflex. I'll be, um, I'll be poking the back of your throat, okay, for you to gag, okay? Okay. Please open your mouth. <coughs> okay, sorry. <coughs> I'm really sorry. <coughs> sorry. Okay, please open your mouth. I need to do it again on the other side. Okay. So, in this test, you should see the soft palate um, rise and other um, signs of gagging. So, next, we are going to... Uh, perform the or assess for the cranial nerve number 11 which is the spinal um, uh, which is the ax 
accessory nerve. Accessory nerve is a motor nerve which is responsible for the movement of the trapezius and sternocleidomastoid muscle which in turn moves the head and neck. Okay sir, so I'm really sorry for that a while ago. We are going to assess now for your uh, trapezius and sternocleidomastoid muscle. Okay, first we, are, we have to um, expose the trapezius muscle. Can you please shrug your shoulders? Okay, hold it please. Okay, down. Assess for the strength and the uh, contraction. Now, sir, I want you to um, move your head against my hand, please. Okay. Alright, now the other side, please. Okay. Assess for the force and contraction of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Now, we are going to proceed to the um, assessment of the 12th cranial nerve, which is the hypoglossal nerve. It is a motor nerve that is responsible for the muscles of the tongue, which affects the um, articulation of words. Okay, so we are going to um, assess for your uh, tongue, sir. Can you please open your mouth? Okay. Um, okay, you can close it for now. Um, assess for any um, atrophy or fasciculations in the tongue. Now, please stick out your tongue, please. Okay. Observe for any asymmetry or deviations from midline. Alright, you can close it now. Thank you. Uh, so, the tongue should be protruding outward. Okay. Uh, should be protruding outward. So, that ends our cranial nerve examination. Of course, after doing all the tests, we should summarize the information to the patient, perform aftercare of the equipment, perform hand hygiene, and document the findings of this procedure.